to. This is an image of a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Can you see it? See the sheep? Here's a sheep's eye right here. Here's a sheep's other eye right here. I, I put this line here so you can see that's its face. Here's a sheep's nostrils. There's the lips. There's those cheeks again. Now, here's the top of the head. See it? Now, it's got this rainbow around it. And that, that's because it's our energy. You know? The rainbow, right? The covenant. Let's, let's watch this. Let's, let's go ahead. Let's apply the keys to the kingdom of heaven. <gasps> Not the virgin again. Wow. And you got Juan Diego over here. He's actually raping a woman. Sitting in the, sitting in the water waters. So there you go. There you go again. You got another image of the virgin. You got the same exact thing going on. You got, um, you know, you got a sheep being destroyed. You got goats being produced. You have Mystery Babylon being produced. Oh, now here we go. Now watch this. I, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to close this. No. Um, we're going to look at this one in just a sec. Let me see if... Uh, I might. Hang on. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to grab... Uh, this is an image of a sheep. There we go. Watch this. We'll do this one. Okay, now watch this. This is that same sheet that you saw, but now its eye is here and its nose is here. It's pointing this way. But watch this. Let's cover up half the face and let's look at the kingdom of darkness. So here's the devil. There's his horn. There's his eye. And he's smiling at you. Now, when I come over here, it's a half human. It's a sheep. Uh, it's a representation of a sheepish human. There's his eye, he's got an ear like a sheep, but he's got a smiley mouth like a human. So you have a hybrid. You got Mystery Babylon being, being used to create. Here you go. This is a clean. Now watch this. The reason I did this is it's, can you see that pretty clear? Mm -hmm. I put 23 and 23 above it, you know. 23 chromosomes from each half. How many, how many chromosomes do, do we have? 46. What psalm did Obama read at ground zero? Anybody remember? Psalm 46. Could that be the rebuilt temple he's talking about in the Bible? Is it a building? He sat there and he read Psalm 46 and he said, Be still and know that I am God and I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the world. Guys, he read Psalm 46. Before him, Bush read Psalm 23 when they destroyed the Twin Towers. Get it? Mystery Babylon. The hidden world that's been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Now, I want to show you a couple more images of the Virgin. And this is kind of this is kind of amazing. Um, I, I'm going to maybe draw this in for you, but I want to show you like a profile of Satan on the chest of the here he is. Let me reduce it maybe get a little more. There he is. Now here we go. There's his eye right here. There's his eyebrow. Eyebrow eye. Here's his nose. There's his mouth. See his mouth right there. And there's his eyebrow on the other side. You can't see his eye, but here's his eye, his eye, his nose, his mouth, his chin. See him? Now watch what he is. He is a reptile. Here's the reptile's eye. There's his nose. And the reptile's mouth. See it? So... Let's look at this image of the Virgin real close. I want to show you, just, I want to keep it small. You see up here in the clouds? You see the clouds? What do you have? You have angels. See the angels? What are they doing? They're looking down. They're looking down. Hmm, they're looking down on what? Well, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a serpent eating a guy right here. There's a giant having sex with a girl right here. He's ejaculating into her. But I can see that real easy because I have a spiritual gift that sees beyond what's normal for a person. But watch this. You see the clouds? 
Let me show you how obvious this is. Woe unto them who call black white and white black. Okay, let's see what they're talking about. What? Sorry, wrong one. I want to grab it in negative imagery. There we go. So, let's do this. Oh, wow. Look at the cloud now. You see the big face? See the eye? And the eye and the mouth? See, looking down from the cloud? I got one for you. Guess what, guys? Did you know the word Nephilim? Nephal means fallen. Nephal means fallen. And Im means ones. Guess what Nephology is? The study of clouds. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but you see the other face? You see it? Looking down. Face looking down. Now you see, let's see. Now you want to see the reptile? You see him? Now, I'm going to pull up another one and we're going to we're going to open up another one. This is really kind of cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Inbox. Hang on. Scent. Uh, oh, reptile painting. We're going to come over here. I'll let you get set up, brother. And let me open up this. Um, I'm just. We're going to apply the keys to the kingdom of heaven, so you guys can see mystery Babylon. That's what the point of all this DVD is. Oh, besides that, I'm here to tell you with my brothers. Guys, time is imminent. 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 We've Everything since we've been doing this DVD. Hey, Joseph, can you hear me out there? Yes, sir. Would you give a witness? Have you seen any confirmations to the fact that the end is imminent? Since uh, the time he picked me up from the airport on Sunday... The time I got here, I've had innumerable confirmations. I would say well over 50. Would they be supernatural in nature? Supernatural in nature. Confirmations. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, it's guys, I'm glad we have the uh, Joseph and Clay here because what's really amazing is um, God and His omnipotence, and God knows what He's doing. You know, I don't, I'm not asking, I don't want you to believe me. I'm not kidding. Ask these guys. The CD, I'll, thunk. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't even believe all the weird stuff that happens around here. It's so weird. It's so unbelievable. Um, I'll, I'll try, I'll try, and I'll, you know what I'll try and do is I'll try and give you guys a little, a, a little taste of the way it happens. Okay, so I'm in the car and I'm driving. I gotta go somewhere. And a CD, cut, oh, the CD in question is actually here, right here. This CD right here, right? It's, it's, it's up in my, my visor, and I'm driving, and it goes, dink, <laughs> and falls to the ground. And I'm going, oh, that's, you know, that's probably the Lord. Because I'm always open to the Lord's trying to get my attention. And if something hits me in the head, it's usually Him, you know. And so it says, Sarah Brightman. The, the reason I, I made the CD is for one song. It's called, Time to Say Goodbye. It just so happens, I told these guys before I walked out of the house, we had gotten a confirmation that the end is right at the door. And that that's, that, was the, that was it. And we got another, like, so it was kind of a smaller confirmation, but it was like, the end is at the door, just tell everybody. And so I left, I said, we're going to get a big confirmation on that. So I leave the house, I'm driving, this thing goes, dink! And I pick it up and I'm like, oh, Sarah Brightman. Time to say goodbye. Well, everybody might go, well, whatever. Well, then I walk in and I go, yeah, this thing hit me in the head. And then Clay goes, what? The last video Todd just put up. Yeah, Todd. <laughs> the last video Todd, one of our buddies. Revelation 3.11. Yeah, Revelation 3.11 that he just put up. The music that's on the video is the exact same one. Time to say goodbye. Now, what are the odds? And then this is in my kitchen. And I, I walk by and it says, are you overweight? Your weight is over. Now, you know, a lot of people might be going, oh, you guys see what you want to see. No, that's called eyes to see, ears to hear, a heart that understands. Because God in you recognizes it. 
He sees it for you. It's not me seeing it. It's not Clay seeing it. It's not Joseph. It's Christ in us. And we're supposed to, you know, get this message to you guys that you're out of time. And we're exposing Mystery Babylon. We're going to show it to you, you know, in clothing. We're going to show it to you in movies. We got some movies for y'all that's going to be really fun. Um, and we're going to show you another hieroglyph. Right? And we're just going to apply the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And by the way, the keys to the kingdom of heaven thing, supernatural. Um, we were starting this thing and, you know, it's a whole other testimony. It could take 15 <laughs> minutes to tell you, but it's insane. I'm not kidding. It was, it was unbelievable, the confirmation. So here's what I'm going to do again. I'm, I'm, just, I'm taking an email I got from a friend of mine, and it has a photo of a guy from an art show, and he did an image of the Pope. And I want just, to just want to share it with you guys. So here we go. Now watch this. I'm going to rotate it, and then I'm going to enlarge it, you know, maybe 50%. There we go. Okay, well, let, let, me, let me show you what's going on. Let me, let me decrypt for you. Let me teach you. I'm not here to do it for you so much as to teach you. I'm, I want to teach you how to do it. Watch. There's something going on. This is a spiral from Norway, okay? But watch this. As you make the first loop, that becomes the top of the head. Now, I'm going re to reduce this in size a little bit. Well, you know what? It might be fine for you guys in the video screen. Let me see if, if it's easy to see. So, this is the top of the head now. Watch this. Here is the top of the head made by the white line. Here's the eye. Here's the eye. Here's the mouth. You see our E.T. alien friend? You know, it's the abomination. See it? But it look, it's coming through the spiral. Now, watch this. I'm going to enlarge this, and I just want to break it down by its constituent parts. Let's do this. I'm going to enlarge it, and I'm just going to drag it over here. Oh, look at this. It's got a right-side-up pyramid to an upside-down pyramid with the all-seeing eye in the middle. Oh! So you mean that upside-down, right-side-up flag of Israel is not something holy? No. No, it's not. They know. And it is a represent... You know the, the word hex? It's got a hexagram in the middle. The word hex is... You know, like, I'm going to put a hex on you. It comes from hexagram. Get hex, hexagram. So anyway, it's demonic. It's demonic. So here you have, you know, here you have the two eyes, and you got the mouth, and you got the head of, you know, your alien friend. Now let's, let's reduce this. Well, you know what? Well, let, let's do this. Let's analyze it. Look over here. You see the eye right here? Well, you see this eye right here? He ne the artist never blocked in the green. He never brought the green in over here. So instead of having some of this green and blocking in the line right here, check it out. He left it open to black. You know why? Because it's not an eye. Well, let's, let's apply the key to the kingdom of heaven. Let's turn... Keep Peter. I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And guess what? When you get crucified upside down, everybody's going to know what the key is. But they're going to hide it. Because the Bible says, Woe unto you Pharisees, for you hide the key to knowledge. The key to knowledge. The key to knowledge. I'm going to say it one more time. The key to knowledge. Go to Revelation 3. Um, Thus saith him who is holy, he who is true, who hath the key of David. Who hath the key of David. Who hath the key of David? I will keep you from the hour of testing. Okay? You got the key yet? You in the, you, you in the church of Philadelphia yet? Okay. Well, let's try it. Let's rotate it. Watch this. Okay. Let me find this thing. Here we go. Oh, check it out. Do you see... A sheep with its tongue sticking out, nostrils, the mouth open, the tongue, and the sheep's become taken over by the